Hello everybody, Nick here. I'm hoping this can be like a series or something, um, just because I just like doing lists. I'm a crazy person, I like doing lists. Uh, I used to have to write them down and I kinda got away from that. Um, but I think it's fun um, to kinda take stock and, and um, think about what you, you know, what, what I like it. As far as, you know, my favorite this, my favorite movies, my favorite books, my favorite albums, my favorite songs, my favorite this and that. So this is kind of going to be like a top list of favorite songs by a certain artist. And this is, <clears throat> I'm going to call it top 12s. And the reason uh, it's top 12s, I thought about should it be top 20? Should it be top 10? Should it be top 15? And the reason I settled on top 12s is because usually when you get to about 12 songs by an artist, that's going to be about um, 40, 40 minutes to an hour, depending on the artist and depending on what uh, decade you're in. So about 40, 40 minutes to an hour is about right for an artist. Um, you know, you can make you a disc or a playlist or whatever it is and you're you're pretty satisfied or you're, you're getting a good taste of that artist so and for all of these i'm going to attempt to make a spotify playlist top 12s dash that artist and link that playlist uh in the description for all of these so nothing fancy and i haven't i'm, I'm not going to put them in any certain order there's not going to be number one is this because i mean i've already whittled them down to my 12 favorites by the artist which is already hard enough i can't imagine going number one is this number two is this <sighs> i mean some of them i'll say this is definitely my favorite song by this band but other than that i can't tell you what is my number four favorite song by this band i mean that's just crazy talk um and i just i just can't do it so Having said that, we are going to start off this, which I hope to be some sort of video series, um, top 12s, favorite band of all time, their top 12 songs chosen by me from being a fan of them for 30 something years, the Beatles. Okay. Now, let me preface this by saying some of these are going to be their biggest hits. You just can't deny them, okay? Some of these I had a hard time with, um, choosing some over the others, but I feel good about the list. I, I, I feel like it's a very strong list. I feel like the ones that made it over others are, are I'm happy about. So it's, it's strong. And, uh, the thing I say at the end, you're just going to have to let it slide. So here it is. So, uh, like I said, uh, so the number one, when I say that is, that's my number one favorite and everything else is just in there in this top. So number one favorite is in my life. Fantastic song. I've loved it since I was a kid. Uh, it's kind of funny loving it since you're a kid and it's such a retrospective song. I mean, how can you like be looking back that much? How can you be looking back that much as, you know, a eight, nine, ten year old kid, but, and, and identifying with the song, but I, I just always like the sound of it. I like the little odd drum beat Ringo's playing. I like the chords. I liked how, um, Lennon and McCartney sounded, their voices blended on it. I just thought it was a great song. Still do. Um, uh, the second one I'm going to say here, which is odd because these two always duke it out for number one for me, is Here, There, and Everywhere. Love the song. Love the harmonies. Um, it's, it's just a beautiful song. It doesn't get enough attention. It's on a great album both these are on two of my favorite uh beetle albums in my life is on rubber so and revolve or here there and everywhere is on revolver so uh these are my two desert island um beetle albums uh, num uh number three don't let me down fantastic 
song, I don't think it's really gotten its due until like the last 10 years or so. I think people are starting to come around to it. Uh, I feel like it kind of got buried. It didn't really make the original Let It Be album, so it kind of got buried as a B-side. And, uh, you know, since kind of like the Rock Band game and the Across the Universe movie and things like that, it's it's finally starting to come around and people are going, oh my gosh, that, that song... That song's where it's at, and it is. It's it's one of Lennon's best songs. Um, number four, again, these are in no certain order. This is the one that I'm kind of going to get laughed out of the room with, and, and it's okay. Good Day Sunshine. Let me tell you why. I know it's a happy song. I know it's one of the ones that, that people aren't so crazy about, but I love this song. Uh, I usually try to wake up my daughter with it, and one of those mornings where I'm like, ah, sis, is she going to what kind of mood she gonna be in. she's like six and you know some days she's just not in the mood to get up and go to school so uh good day sunshine's a good one to get her up with and it puts me in a good mood it gets me ready to face the day it's not about like a heavy topic or anything and it's not really too much it's not about being broken hearted or you know politics or anything like that it's just a great great bouncy song and and i like it um Number five, Blackbird. What do I need to say? Blackbird, perfect acoustic guitar song. Perfect, perfect little song. I mean, Paul McCartney at his best. Uh, number six, Hey Jude. Again, I mean, everything in the world has been said about Hey Jude. It's fantastic. It was obviously going to be on the list. No surprises there. Hey Jude. Number seven, Let It Be. It's another one. It's a no-brainer. You can't make a Beatles list without Let It Be. You can't make a Beatles list without Hey Jude. They're all going to be on here. Um, I think you are going to be surprised that one's not going to be on this list, but um, there's just Blackbird beat it out, and there was no room for it. Um, number eight, Girl. I love Girl. I love the Rubber Soul album, and Girl is one of my favorite songs on it. It actually, I was sitting there looking at the songs, and I was like, okay, Girl, Michelle, Norwegian Wood, which one is it? And it was Girl. I love the way Lennon sounds. John Lennon, 1965, that was the best his voice ever sounded, in my opinion. It sounds fantastic on that song. I love the, the breathing, the... Um, when like Ringo's hitting the cymbal and, and choking it really quick. Um, all the little staccato acoustic guitar notes. Um, the the minor chords and stuff that are going on in it. It's, it's a well put together tune. Uh, number nine, I'm the Walrus. Another well put together tune. It's fantastic. The chords, the orchestra is phenomenal in it. Um, I love all the little sound effects and quirky things that are happening with it. I always have. Uh, it's inspired me to try to put together so many different things that should or should not have came to be. Who knows? Um, number 10, Happiness is a Warm Gun. Another terrific song. Great time changes. Uh, Lennon has one of those voices and styles that will you'll wind up being in a, a certain mood with him. Like, he'll put you in the mood that he's in. in that he, Kind of the same thing with I'm So Tired, where it's like he, he, whatever he was in, when he sang it or when he wrote it, you kind of just fall into that. And Happiness is a Warm Gun is definitely, to me, is an example of this. Great song. Uh, number 11, Here Comes the Sun. My only Harrison song on this list, and it's not because he doesn't have great songs, it's just so many others I like better. But I love Here Comes the Sun. I love the acoustic guitar in it, the, the uh, synthesizer, the the uh, harmony vocals, the, the drums in it. It's, it's all good. And finally, uh, the Abbey Road medley. So you got to let me slide on that one. To me, it's all one thing. 
I love You Never Give Me Your Money. I love Sun King. I love Golden Slumbers and all the little pieces of it. But to me, it's all one thing. I've always told people if you if you're heading into work and you got and you got like a 10 minute commute or whatever it is, put that Abbey Road medley on. It'll put you in a good mood. You'll be able to get through work. It's no big deal, especially if you got a job you don't like. It it'll get you through it. It's it's a fantastic piece of art. So that is my top 12 list. I'll go through them really quick here. In my life, here, there, and everywhere. Don't let me down. Good day, sunshine. Blackbird. Hey, Jude. Let it be. Girl, I am the walrus. Happiness is a warm gun. Here comes the sun and the Abbey Road medley. So if uh, you would like to check that out, I should have some sort of uh, down here in the subscription box. Or description box i should have some sort of uh link you can follow to go to that spotify playlist and check it out and uh, look for my next one like this top 12s thanks so much have an awesome day